Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Wow. Kitty Kitchen! It's been a while and uh, today we are going to be making ultra fluffy milk bread rolls and um, I took this off the internet from cleobatera.com and we are just basically going to be following along the recipe. Um, I don't know whether you noticed but I've been into like a bread making phase kind of. I made potato buns for my burger and I also had some experience doing like uh, dinner rolls. And the only thing is I noticed that I was using all purpose flour but today I have bread flour which is uh, yeah it's you know it's a higher protein content so it makes it like fluffier or something like that which is good. So what I was supposed to do was I was supposed to make a starter, a tang chong starter, which is here. So I'm gonna put it down here. It's basically a loose roux, um, made of bread flour, milk, and water. And I just basically heated it up in a small saucepan. Um, now we are going to be making the dough. So the dough i have here the ingredients which i'm going to read out is uh bread flour milk powder i'm going to omit that uh, 50 grams of sugar here one teaspoon of salt here instant yeast i have uh dry active yeast which i'm going to use instead of instant yeast so i'm going to add a pinch more of the yeast into my bowl when the time comes whole milk slightly warm melted butter one large egg and done okay then there's ingredients for egg wash which we will be doing later so in the bowl of a stand mixer or any large bowl or bread machine whisk together the flour sugar salt and yeast to combine that's it i'm just yeah mixing it next in a medium bowl, whisk together, together, together the egg, milk, melted butter, and cooled tang tong. Tang tong. So this is my butter. This is my slightly warm milk. And this is my cooled tang tong. Oh man. Right, I have the whisk. Just gonna whisk it. Here's a larger bowl. Larger bowl. All right. Okay. So it looks like this is well combined. So as per the instructions, <clears throat> pour the milk mixture over the flour mixture and with the mixer on low speed, knead together using the dough hook until a dough forms. So the dough will be very sticky when mixing begins but resist the urge to add more flour. The dough will absorb the excess moisture and come together nicely as the mixing progresses. Okay, so this has been going on for about 3 minutes. I'll just show you where we are at. This is the mixture. And that should be okay and now i am going to increase the speed to medium low and continue kneading until a smooth elastic dough forms and is no longer sticky 15 to 20 minutes minutes <coughs> Side joke there. okay it's been about 20 minutes um so what i'm expecting to see is the dough should feel tacky which is slightly sticky but not messy and should easily come together in a taut ball when handled with lightly oiled hands so 
I think it's more than slightly sticky. So probably what I'm gonna do is I am going to knead a little bit more flour. I think this is it. Slightly sticky but not messy. Okay. Whew. Okay, transfer to a lightly greased bowl which I have here. It's gonna shape into a ball for a bit. Okay, so this is my ball. I am now going to wait for between 60 to 90 minutes for this to rise and I'm gonna do it now. I'll see you later. Okay, welcome back. As you can see, this is the bread or rather the dough. Um, it's a monster and it's super huge and now what I need to do is I need to transfer it to a work surface which is this I need to pack the dough gently into an 8 inch square of even thickness using a bench knife or a chef's knife cut it into 9 pieces so I'm going to do that now okay pet 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 whoa well clearly my dough didn't get the memo so it's still a bit sticky but that's okay okay nine pieces okay. so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round my buns it looks uh, pretty decent and so next step is I'm gonna need to cover this again and allow it to rise for another 40 to 50 minutes what's gonna happen is I will be preparing the egg wash as well and uh, I'm gonna be preheating my oven the next time you'll see me is just when I'm about to put this into the oven I'll see you then Okay, so it's been given some time to rise. <gasps> Look at that. Such a monster. Okay, so the next step is for me to just gently brush with my um, egg wash, which is simply uh, egg and heavy cream whisked together. I'm going to try to be gentle. So while making dinner rolls the other day, I realized that um, it really... It's obvious if you only put a little bit of egg wash on top so it's just like one dot of egg wash instead of like covering the whole uh, <clears throat> top of the roll so I'm just trying to make sure that everything All right okay going in the oven So that's gonna stay there for 20 to 25 minutes until golden brown. I'll check again at like the 20 minute mark and see where we are at. Okay. Wow, it looks amazing. Please excuse my excited face. Look at that! Just look at that. Just look at that. Look at it. Wow, look at that. Okay. Um, I'm supposed to straight away brush melted butter. I'm going to do that now. Done. 
Now I will wait 10 minutes, it will cool and then I'm just gonna get it out of the round pan thing and um, let's see how it tastes. Okay, I don't think I can wait anymore, so let's get it out of the this thing gently. Oh man, how am I supposed to do this? Okay. Alright! There you go! Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this for a while. Ow! Oh my god. Okay. This is... This is what it looks like. It's super soft and fluffy. I believe it's because of the tang chong that we used at the beginning, which is essentially an Asian technique of yeast bread baking, where you simply pre-cook a portion of the flour and liquid, which could be water or milk. In this case, we use both for the recipe and resulting in the, a thickened kind of roux, which you add into your mixture, meaning they can absorb more water. This is according to kingarthurbaking.com. So this is what you get. And uh, I'm going to go in front of the camera and like peel it. <laughs> it's soft, it's fluffy, you can eat it on its own, I'm eating it on its own. Look at that. Look at that. It's so nice. Things I learned, use bread flour because before this I've been using all-purpose flour or plain flour and it never gets to this kind of soft, pillowy, buttery consistency. No, that's the first thing I learned. Second thing I learned, this Tang Chong thing is like legit man. So. Mmm. Oh, awesome. Ah. So we've just made ultra fluffy milk bread rolls by Cleo Batera. I'm gonna put the recipe in the link down below. And if you haven't already done so, you may subscribe to the channel here. Uh, <coughs> wow. This is so nice. Um, and if you want to check out my other videos, there's a bunch of videos that I did with Rachel here and other videos that you can check out as well. Thanks again. Um, this is really very nice, man. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow.